Yo, what is up guys? Today we're going on my first proper group ride up into the hills. That's pretty exciting. So it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but uh, also extremely exciting. Uh, it's a beautiful day for it, public holiday, sun's out, you just know there are going to be plenty of other motorcyclists on the road today. Uh, all I can do is pray that my, uh, my microphone settings are going to be okay. Oh, well this is sick. This is really cool. How cool is this? Yeah, I don't actually know a couple of these people, but it's the beauty of riding a bike, right? Just hop on your bikes, shake hands at the first stop, introduce yourself. Mint. And uh, these guys have pillboxes, which I'm actually grateful for because it means they're probably not going to be absolutely hammering it through the hills. Um, you know, I've just got to keep in mind that it's going to be my own ride and that I've, I've got to ride my own ride. As long as I stick to that mantra, I'll be safe. Uh, the issue is, as I'm sure many of you have experienced, when you, when you get into a group situation, it's easy to get a little excited. Well, we're just chilling. So we've got an MT-09 up the front and potentially an MT-10 at number two, a Bandit 650 at, or uh, sorry, an SV650, number three, Yamaha three is myself, and behind me we have a CF Moto adventure bike, uh, I don't know much about adventure bikes, but yeah, we're going for it. So this is my first proper group ride into the hills. I have done one group ride before, and that was going into the city at night on a freeway loaded with traffic. So it was very different. Um, I had also been riding for at most a couple of months. I was still on my L plates wearing a high-vis vest and unable to lane filter. So I'm not gonna lie, as fun as that was, it was also a little stressful. I feel like I'm better equipped for this. Oh, the water scares me, man. I just... I gotta do better at managing. Yeah, yeah, I'm still really like... I see gravel or I see a wet patch and it, it unsettles me, which is obviously really dangerous. I just gotta trust my tyres, trust the bike. But, yeah. It's really hard to do that when you're a novice and you haven't actually gotten accustomed to it yet. Ooh, one other thing I just, one other thing I've got to kind of keep getting used to is to, to keep my back straight, take the pressure off my torso and put it on my legs. But it's, it's something you really have to consciously strive to do, which means the moment I forget it, uh, the moment I stop thinking explicitly about keeping my back straight and gripping the tank with my legs, I stop doing it. And then I realise I've stopped doing it when I start to feel a little sore down in the lower back and the wrists. So, here we go. Just upper body loose, torso nice and straight. We're stuck behind a caravan, but I'm not mad because I'm just enjoying the novelty of being out on the bike on a beautiful day with a uh, group of other riders. Awesome. I know the novelty of actually riding a motorcycle itself does eventually wear off, but I'd still consider myself very fresh. I'm not one of those people who got my license and went and put 10,000 Ks on my bike on the first week. I wish I was. Just not. How pretty is this? Oh, I love it. I can tell Josh is just itching to get ahead though. Yeah, so we're stuck in a bit of traffic here, but uh, 
give us the opportunity to have a look at some of these bikes. Oh, yeah, okay, I was wrong. That is not an SV650, that is a Bandit 1250. Damn, that'd be such a comfy, powerful touring bike. down the side. <laughs> That's scary as fuck. <laughs> what are the chances, man? Those cops were there while we were riding up and using the bike lane. <laughs> Whew. Could have been bad for all of us. And we got a beautiful Triumph Bonneville leading the pack at the moment. I believe his name is Chris and he is the, the admin of Packenham Riders Facebook page. Oh, I can't wait till I have a sports bike, man. Well, I kind of have a sports bike, but I don't really count the um, R3. And there you have it, my first group ride experience. And boy, what an amazing experience it was. I learnt a lot, I met some new people, and I had a really good time. That being said, I am extremely lucky in the sense that the group I went with were mature, level-headed and didn't do anything stupid the important thing is to remember that you are riding your own ride so if you end up in a group ride with much more aggressive riders than yourself uh, don't let it get to your head don't try and keep up just do your own thing on this very same day I did make a grave error uh, in my riding and it was the direct result of my own lapse in judgment uh, and my lack of thinking I got caught in the moment uh, and was trying to keep up and yeah made an error that risked myself and other members of the public so never gonna make that mistake again and i might release the footage a bit later if you guys are interested in seeing it massive thank you to josh for inviting me out on this ride um awesome time keen to go out with you again man if you're still watching this and thank you to you all for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i will catch you on the next one But I've never seen you bang. You say you've got them drugs, but I've never seen you slang.